Hello, fellow artists. Welcome back to our art class. Today, we have been learning about Day of the Dead, which in Spanish is Dia de los Muertos. And today, what we are going to create is our very own calavera, which is a skeleton. And we will be making these just like the sugar skulls that you saw in our lesson. So for this part of the project, which is part one, we are going to need a pencil with a good eraser. We will also need Sharpie black markers or any black markers you may have at home or a black pen, something to make your lines darker. You will also need some crayons for this first step. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you step by step how we draw the calavera before we get to the decorations. So first you wanna start off at the top of your paper and you wanna create a nice big circle towards the top. A nice big circle. For your sake, draw light so you can erase any mistakes that you have made. This circle is about the size of my hand when I have it open, not too big but it is a good size for the top part of our head. The next thing we're gonna do is at the bottom of our circle where there's open space, we're gonna draw a half of a rectangle and the edges are going to be curved off. This is going to serve as the jaw part, the bottom of the skeleton's head. After you have created the rectangle shape at the bottom. You're going to take your eraser from your pencil and you're going to erase the line from the skeleton that is going right through the middle of your drawing. So try to erase that as best as you can. This is why we started off drawing lightly. And now we have a funny skull head. The next thing we're going to need is a neck because we don't just want a floating head when we start this project. So for our neck, we're going to make some nice oval shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and make about three of these oval shapes. One. Two. Three. And there is a start of her skull, very fun guy or girl. We are now going to put some eyeballs on this skull and the eye skull's eyeballs are going to be circles. They're going to be towards the top of the head here and we're gonna make them a good size. And so we're going to make two eyeballs because we as people have two eyeballs. Now we have one of two ways that we can make a nose. You can make a nose by using a triangle, kind of like what we do when we carve a pumpkin, or you can do an upside down heart. It's really up to you. For my example, I'm gonna go ahead and use an upside down heart. So I'm going to start close to the eyes and I'm going to make this long, skinny, upside down heart. So now he has a nice skinny nose. We can also make different mouths. So if you want your skeleton's mouth to have a happy face, you can do a nice basic smiley face you. If you want him to have a surprised face, you can have them have an O as a mouth. And if he's very excited, you can have him have that slightly open mouth there with the straight line across and a curved line at the bottom. My skeleton in this example is going to have a nice big smile. So I'm going to just draw a nice big smile here. Now we are missing teeth. The way I like to make teeth is really easy. I make bumps. So I make one bump like it's a rounded mountain, two bumps, 
and you can add as many teeth as you want. I will only add a few. I'm not going to add them all the way down the line. I'm also going to add some little bumps at the bottom to make it look like the teeth are peeking out from the bottom there. Look at those cute little teeth. And there is our skeleton mouth. If you did the one that's surprised over here, you can just make teeth at the top, make some little bumpy guys there. If you made the one where he's very surprised, you can make some teeth at the top as well. Just make some bumps and you're good to go. You don't even have to make any at the bottom, but if you wish to do so, you can also make some at the bottom. Make him look extra chompy there. Here's another example. All right, now that we have our basic form of our sugar school, you get to have fun and decorate this. Now, before you trace everything out in a Sharpie, which is a permanent marker and cannot be erased, I would draw with my pencil first. So you can go ahead and draw all of the decorations that you want on your skeleton. I'm going to pop up a different example here that I have that I've already started tracing some of my lines. So here's a different one that I'm working on, and he's got quite the different mouth but I've started tracing some of my lines on my skull. I will even go ahead and trace the head so it stands out a little better. So as I'm going along here, my skeleton head pops out more. If you wanna add decorations like in our example slides, you can add flowers around the eyes. Some people have made stars. Some people have made spider webs. It really depends on what you want your sugar skull to look like. If you want to make it um, like a pet, I have a few people who have turned their skeletons into dogs or cats as well by putting ears on the top of their skulls. And that works as well. But you are more than welcome to decorate this as much as you want. If you don't want a lot of decoration, that is okay. And not only do you need to think about decorating the face, but you can also decorate the neck bones there. And I'm just adding a little flower on the neck bone there. But you don't have to do this if you don't want. You can decorate it however you find it more pleasing to you. After you are done tracing everything out and making your skeleton the way you want it, the next thing you want to do is you want to take some crayons and you can go in and color some of your areas. So maybe I want to color this area and I would press pretty hard on those crayons. Maybe I just want to outline this area here because we will be going in with some watercolors to paint in more of our skull and make these super colorful. So if you're going to need some areas to paint, press hard on those colorful crayons. So when we add the watercolor part, the color stays on there. You may add secret designs in there too with your crowns. Not everything has to be outlined with the black Sharpie. So if you wanna take your crown and just decorate with the crown, you can do that as well. Lots of ways to do this. But this is the first part in creating our calavera, our sugar skull, in celebration of Dia de los Muertos, which runs again from October 31st, as we know as Halloween, all the way to November 2nd. So we are learning about the country of Mexico and the way they celebrate Day of the Dead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, but here is a start to my colorful creation. 
Later on, I'm going to go in with some watercolor paints and paint some more on top of this and then cut this out in the next video and show you how to do the background. Um, but this is all I have for you for today. Uh, make your sugar skulls, your calaveras, as colorful and as decorative as you want. Again, feel free to turn them into pets. If you want to do a dog or a cat, you can just add ears at the top. Or if you want to think about someone that you love and design your sugar skull with things that they like or things that you like, you can do that too. Let your imagination go wild with these and make these as colorful as you want because in Mexico, these are full of color and full of fun things. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. I hope you have a fun time creating your calaveras. Goodbye!